I'm Racers Marshall Pruitt. Everything we are doing this weekend, Matthew Jaminet, winner of this amazing Long Beach Grand Prix in GTP, the very first for Porsche, a glorious 963. Everything we're doing brought to us this weekend by Penn's Oil, pioneering, advancing oil developments for 110 years, which is pretty crazy. So, first of all, congratulations, Cheers. mate. Cheers, my friend. I've done nothing to deserve this, by the way. He's the one who just did all the work. <laughs> Talk about a fight. Hey, boy, Cadillac's gonna win the race, and my dear French fry, Sebastian Bourdais, he's gonna pass everybody on lap one turn. Okay, that didn't, that didn't yeah, go just, so well. It just didn't work out. Uh, hey, so the Meyer Shank Acura is gonna get, well, now the BMW kinda helped him off a little bit there. Hey, Ricky Taylor, man, the guy's flying, he's gonna win. This was not the craziest IMSA race at Long Beach, but one of you put in the closing drive, closed this race, sealed this victory for Porsche. You're looking forward, trying to focus and win. Were they keeping you abreast of the nonsense and craziness going around you? And what wasn't already happened with driver turning <laughs> by you too? Uh, not so much. I was not aware of what was happening. Uh, obviously, I could sometimes see in my mirrors uh, uh, because there were a few seconds behind, and then I knew, okay, also when the 10 past the 7, like, he's coming because I knew they were, they were super fast and on fresh tires. So I knew at some point I'm going to see him. I didn't know when. Yeah. But uh, I knew he was coming, so I was just thinking, oh, it's going to be a Sebring again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just try to make it, up, make it happen this time and then finish like, the proper way. So. Crazy. Well, it was really under tension and under pressure. Big congratulations as well on GTD Pro to the Vassar Sullivan team, uh, Jack Hawksworth, Ben Barnico winning there, and then in GTD as well, Paul Miller Racing, BMW. It's a great day for Germany, and obviously you and the BMW Motorsport GTP team, you're fighting like Matt as well, but I'm so happy with this result, Matthew, because if I think of growth for both of your programs, if we think of yesterday, oh, there weren't a lot of happy people in the Porsche Penske Motorsport team. Couldn't find the car, the front of the car wasn't doing necessarily what you wanted. Qualifying wasn't great. Huge day-to-day -day rebound. BMW as well, they started last in GTP, last to come in. Look how far they've come on the podium now. This is this thing's got some movement and development going. Tell me about that too. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, if you look really at Daytona and where we started, uh, I think also for BMW, uh, I guess what they are doing is also super impressive, looking at where they were and, and, and now they were super fast uh, in the race and both stints. And um, yeah, they do two podiums in a row and we can see that they getting closer to their first win. So uh, yeah, we can see that the field is, is getting together more and more. Uh, it seems like maybe the Acura and the Cadillac are making, are making steps, but uh, way smaller than we do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's great to see. It shows that the platform is working, great battles on track in the first three rounds. Uh, again, crazy finish pretty much all the time. So yeah, this is also why we love IMSA racing. You know? Speaking of crazy, that teammate of yours, Nick Tandy, I don't know what he's doing. He probably got arrested by now, but uh, big honor for you. For you. We got jump. to yeah. be in the jumpy truck yeah, at some point in time. <laughs> um, if we think about all the awesome things that have happened with this win and what's happened here, first hybrid victory at Long Beach. So there's, again, some history being made right there. IMSA put on a whale of a show today, pretty amazing. So the thing I want to celebrate though, for you and your team, this Porsche 963. Oh, it was never a low ambition. Let's just make it simple. No, there's some technology in there. There's some outer space technology that I still have yet to figure out. <laughs> Tell me about the pride though in figuring out how to get the most out of this car. And clearly you guys just did. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a challenge. Like you say, these cars are super complicated, more than what people think, even though, you know, it started with the LMP2 base and, uh, and, uh, and, and some spec parts, there is still a lot of things you can do and develop uh, in the background. And at the end of the day, uh, we have a lot of experience uh, coming from Formula E and the 919 project back yeah. in the day. Uh, yeah, but everything is still very new and, uh, and we saw we, we, had a we had a tough start to the season, uh, which was kind of unexpected, let's say. Um, so yeah, we, we're making steps. Uh, today we've got many tools to, to improve things uh, like simulation, you know, we've got a simulator back in Visa and we spend quite some hours and days in there. 
trying to make the car better, you know. <laughs> did, I did the preparation last week for that event as well, so uh, you know, it's, uh, it never stops, you know. We also got two teams, if they are racing on the other so side of the world. Tomorrow, you've you know? just set the bar high for what's going on <laughs> in Porto so. Yeah, I mean, that's a different type of race. Is, a, is a, and WC is a, is a different type of racing and a different philosophy, different dynamic out there. So, but yeah, I hope it brings motivation to the team, you know, because we've got our first podium in Sebring, you know, we got our first win, uh, double podium with Car 7. It's been a real team effort with uh, Car 7, you know, kind of fighting uh, the other guys, you know. And so, in the end, if we win the race today, it's also because of, of them. So, uh, yeah, big thanks to the, to the team, and I really hope it brings motivation to the other side of the world. And hopefully we can also see uh, the first podium in WEC or the first win tomorrow. We are talking about Acura winning the first race of the year. There's questions about the victory. Second place was an Acura, so Acura at Daytona. We're looking at Sebring, where Cadillac won. Round three, Porsche. It's just great stuff where no single manufacturer is dominating. Congratulations, Matthew, Thank you, once again. Uh, you deserve many of these. Get some rest after all the simulator work and today's <laughs> drive. This guy's been working hard for Porsche. Thank you.